You asked for it, and I put my nose to the Paleolithic grindstone on this paleo diet, and the results? They are interesting. Hey gang, Trace here, reporting for D News. At any given moment, half of America is on a diet. Half? That's a lot. When we debunked the blood type diet, a bunch of people asked about the paleo diet, so I looked into it. Paleolithic diets have been around for decades, but it's coming back, and it claims to be science, though science doesn't really back it up. In case you've never heard of paleo, it claims humans are eating the wrong things. Proponents assert that we should be eating the things that our human ancestors were eating, and nothing else. This means eating lean meats, fresh fruits, fish, vegetables, eggs, nuts, and seeds, and natural oils, like olive or coconut. But it also means that we should not be eating things like grains and other cultivated foods, legumes, which are peanuts and peas and lentils and beans, and dairy products and starches and processed sugars. While they say it's based on history, it doesn't vogue with history. Today, we've got fossilized teeth covered in fossilized junk, so we know that Neanderthals ate wheat and barley, legumes, as well as fruits. They also cooked starches. And having access to prepare and cook foods meant that our most successful evolutionary ancestors could find food anywhere. And those who couldn't? died out. Plus, humans mutated to consume milk and dairy products, though not necessarily pints at a time when you include all the creams, milks, and cheeses that we love so much. The human body is constantly adapting. Simply going back to an earlier time won't make your digestive tract rejoice. Dietitians, nutritionists, and doctors all were quick to agree that fresh fruits and vegetables and small amounts of lean meats were all an essential part of a healthy diet. But cutting a whole food group out of a diet is textbook fad, and they agree it is not sustainable. Additionally, the diet offers very little calcium necessary for bone development. Critics say most of the weight loss is likely from regulating calorie intake and portion control. As far as the evolutionary basis, <laughs> the reason we live longer than 25 years is because we varied our food sources. All in all, the paleo diet does offer a number of healthful benefits if you're interested in consuming a carbohydrate-free diet, a la South Beach, Atkins, or others. Then the paleo diet might be something to look at, but to base it wholly on science is a bit misleading. Go read the reviews. The people who are advocates for this love it. Personally, I really like the sound of paleo. No processed foods, lots of fruits and vegetables, local meats. Mm. And in talking to people on Twitter, hey, thanks a lot, Megan, Kim, Rachel, Michelle, Joel, and Jenna. They all said they lost weight, they looked and felt better, they slept better, they had more energy, and so on. If you're interested in it, you can find a lot of resources all over the net. What's your favorite way to keep healthy? Regular exercise? Food diaries? Share your strategies with us, and thanks for tuning in to D News. Stay healthy, everybody.